That's what I wanna do. I wanna rock with somebody. Yeah. I wanna take shots with somebody. Shots, 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 shots. I wanna lead with somebody. Come on, come on. And we ain't gotta tell nobody. We ain't gotta tell nobody. Nobody. Walking every. Hi everybody, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. That was really 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 very 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 inspired by um britney bear makeup on instagram if you guys don't follow her then you guys are slightly crazy no i'm kidding but um this is her pinch looks like this but this is the look that it was inspired by and the hair let's just let's just talk about how gorgeous she is first of all yes i'm so in love with her but um in this shoot she actually did her makeup herself and adam um I want to say Simmons. It's either Simmons or Simons. I'm so sorry. But um, I am so in love with him. Like, goodness. In like a not creepy way. But he is a Samoan um, makeup artist, which is why I feel like I'm so in love with him because his work is just amazing. Not only that, he's Polynesian. So um, he did her hair as well as the pictures, but she did her own makeup. But yes, again, this is what the look was inspired by. Just a little close, a little side to side. Can we see? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I will link both of their Instagrams down below for you guys, for you guys to check out. So again, this is what the look looks like. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is right up my alley. You guys know I'm for all the nude lips. And, um... <laughs> You guys see that? Yes, yes, you guys. I'm so in love with this highlight. I'm in love with the combination that I used for it. So you guys obviously will see that in the video. But I don't know. I'm just for this whole look. So I just want to quickly come on here and say hi. I finally filmed an intro. I don't know. I just, when I film my other videos, I don't know why, but I just completely forgot to. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I got her look, then just keep watching. Alrighty guys, so to start off this makeup look, I'm going to be moisturizing my face using this Previse Skin Type Um moisturizer now i did get this in my boxycharm and it's so funny because when i was reading it i was like oh it's a lotion like a hand lotion which i mean i think it could be used for that but on the back it says use your fingertips gently massage hydro milk in a circular motion into all areas of your face and down your neck so i was like oh it's definitely a moisturizer so i'm going to be moisturizing my face with this um this is my second time using it the first time was last night and i absolutely love it like i woke up and my face was extremely soft and i definitely feel it was hydrated so so far, so good. Um, I decided to do a chit chat kind of thing, talk through kind of video because the last time I did one of these, a lot of you guys really seemed to like that. So I decided to do it again. Plus, I just really do like talking to you guys. I feel like I've been so busy the past few weeks and like I've just been uploading. Some are talk throughs, some are just ones with no um, voiceover at all. So, I did a review like I don't know I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys <laughs> I did already apply my brows because that is what takes the longest in my whole like makeup routine and I'm kind of on a little time crunch here um I'm back on the road again um we're leaving at seven and it is now two o'clock so I feel like this wouldn't take as long but it's taking a little longer because I am filming and I'm talking and we all know what happens when I talk as always all the products will be listed down below for you guys but I am moisturizing my lips because as you guys can see, I'm getting some cracks there. That is what the look looks like. Can you guys see? Yes, you can. So it just looks like she has a very like neutral eye, a little dark on the outsides, and then a really strong contour. I don't have my um, MAC Studio finish that I always prime with, so I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. I don't think I've ever primed my lids with these, so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it. Um, I'm just setting that concealer with my Maybelline Pressed Powder in the shade Tan. I'm really excited because um, I just ordered a ring light as well as another softbox. If you guys didn't already know, I use a umbrella um, softbox for my lighting in here. And that is actually the only lighting I use right now. I'm actually using that as well as natural lighting, which... I think I kind of like how it is because the natural lighting is coming from this side and then my box is right there. So, hmm, looks, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. But my birthday is October 15th, which is like in two weeks. So um, for my birthday, I asked for, asked, I asked for a lot of, not a lot of, but just like new equipment for my YouTube videos and stuff because like I said, YouTube is something I'm very passionate about and YouTube is something that is really fun for me. So I figured as my channel is growing, I feel like my equipment should be growing too. So, this is my, 
this is what I vision. Like, this is what I want. I want my ring light to be in front of me, obviously with my camera like peeking through it. So I want my ring light and then I want my two soft boxes on the side of me. So hopefully that'll give me light from all angles, you know? I'm taking the Lorac Pro palette and I am just going to be taking taupe and I'm dusting that right into meat grease on my MAC 224 SE. Anyway, so yeah, that is that. And then I also, like, I'm getting this. I already know I'm getting it, but um, the I'm getting a Canon T5, Rebel T5i for my birthday as well. So I'm really excited about that. My Lorac palette, like, oop, can't see I'm blinding you, but the, uh, the mirror is just done so. So like I said, it just looks very neutral on the eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take light pink in the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be also dusting that all over my lid. But yeah, you guys, I am so excited about all of that. Speaking of my birthday, like I said, it is October 15th. I am a Libra. But um, I'm going to Vegas for my birthday, which I'm really excited about. So that should be fun. For my 21st birthday, I couldn't really do much because I was pregnant. So I'm going to celebrate my 22nd. Really, really big as if it was my 21st. <laughs> and then I'm going back in with my MAC 224 and I'm blending that out. We don't want any harsh lines. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you guys would know that I am pre-recording. I did pre-record like a crazy woman because I have just been back and forth from Arizona to California because of stuff with my uncle's funeral. What is this? This is my Mac 213 SE. And like I said, on the outer corners, it looks like that's just where all the depth is. And then she brought it into her crease a little bit, but it looks like it's just really focused on the outside so i'm going to be taking i don't know is it black or is it i'm not sure but what i'm gonna do i'm just going to go into i'm going to take sable in this palette i don't know we'll see how dark sable is and if not i'm gonna go over it with the black but um sable is pretty is a really dark brown yeah she brought it into the crease a little bit Halfway, halfway. And then I'm going to be taking my um, 224 and blending that out again. No harsh lines, no harsh lines. Okay, but before that, I'm going to go back in with light pink, just because a lot of that did get taken away from all that blending we did. Oh yeah, why I've been gone so long. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, things have just been going on with my uncle's funeral. And then, um, you know, some things just came up to where I had to stay on Cali a lot longer than I had planned. And then we came back here. And then we went back to California and then came back here and now I'm going back on the road. <laughs> Except I'm going to California and then right after my uncle's burial, I am on my way to Utah. So, I don't know. Hopefully you guys see this either while I'm in Utah or before Utah. I'm not sure. Depends on... But like I said, it is 2.22 right now and I'm leaving here at 7. So hopefully I get done with this video around 5 which will give me some time to pack. And then um, I really do want to edit when I'm on the road, so. I'm so excited, this is my first Halloween here on YouTube, so I'm going to be obviously coming out with some Halloween tutorials. So you guys let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I've been on Pinterest just like trying to you know, come up with ideas and I have found some, so I'm really excited about that. But I wanted to break out all these like fall looks first before I came out with those um, Halloween tutorials because for the whole month of October, I do plan on uploading you know some I don't know I don't want to say a lot but I do plan on uploading some um Halloween tutorials for you guys but I do also want to upload some like beauty videos you know but I'm just so excited because I found some really awesome looks and I found um what was I saying I found some awesome looks and I'm just excited to film those for you guys so that is that I'm going to apply my wing liner first and then apply some black right here. Not Nothing too much, which is just a little, just a little. But the reason I'm applying my um, liner first is just, it seems like it'll be a lot easier um, applying the black on the outside right there. Okay, so I did just zoom you guys in a little bit more, but I did just apply that wing liner. Like I said, um, hers is really long. It actually went to the end of her eyebrow, so. That's what I had to do. But um, I'm actually feeling it right now. I actually really love it. So. That is that. Now I'm going to go in and apply a little bit of black just to the outer corner because like I said, that is where um, it looks like all of her depth is in this eye look. You hear my phone go off? It's Cyrus. <laughs> okay. Blend, 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 blend. Where's my... There we go. We're, I'm just going to go in a circular motion out here and then drag that baby up. Nothing too much, like I said. Yes. 
kidding. I don't know. I can't really wink with my right eye. Just kidding. Yes, I can. <laughs> you know what's so funny? If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you guys would have seen this. But Cyrus and I, well, seen what I'm about to say. But um, here on YouTube, um, if you guys saw, Cyrus and I did do the boyfriend tag. If you haven't seen that, I will link that down below for you guys. Go check it out. But um, in there, one of the questions was like, what was your very first road trip? And we were like, uh, we definitely haven't taken one. Literally the weekend after that, we took our very first family road trip. So... <laughs> And that was just to California and it actually went really well. I loved it. It was fun I love road trips period, but you know just like with my daughter inside and I'm gonna go back in actually with light pink. Sorry guys and um, apply that again to my lids because I feel like a Lot of it did get lost with a lot of that blending if I can just find my brush If you can hear that that is my aunt in the background singing to my daughter and someone <laughs> But this light pink just looks a little little too light for me so i'm gonna take the lark pro palette again but i'm actually gonna go with the color mauve right on top of that Alrighty guys so off camera i just applied my lashes um just for the sake of time and stuff like that but um on the picture she had some very like intense lashes and so i figured my um vegas nave shining star lashes would fit it perfectly anyways so now i'm going to be priming my face with my hard candy sorry stop dancing me um my hard candy you guys know the primer I can never say, but I don't even know. I don't know why I can't say it, but I mean, I can say it obviously, but I just feel like when I do say it, it's like, what? It says hard candy sheer envy primer perfecting. Like I feel like there should be a word right after that. Now onto foundation. I'm actually going to be using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 foundation. I haven't used this in a very long time and um, I still have yet to go get my Maybelline Fit Me. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna break out the oldie but goodie. Can we just appreciate the pump on this? Why is that song stuck in my head? That always happens to me. Like, if I sing a song, obviously I had to have heard it for it to be stuck in my head. So I'm like, when did I listen to that? When and how? And now we're going to go on to concealer. Um, I'm not using my Dynamic Duo today. I'm only just using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I know. Shocker. But that's just what we're using today. I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to be using this to conceal as well as highlight. Oh, alrighty. What else do I have to talk about? So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I feel like I talk about Snapchat a lot, but only because I'm always on Snapchat. Like, I love Snapchat. Um, as always, all my social media will be linked down below for you guys. But if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you guys would have seen that we took our daughter to Disneyland for her four-month birthday. I know, college crazy, but we do celebrate like her little month birthdays. Because she's my Fitbit, my princess. Alrighty, and then to blend that out, I'm actually using the Visanti uh, foundation brush that I did get in my BoxyCharm as well. I'm using a lot of BoxyCharm items today. This is good, this is good. But I'm going to be tapping that out. Yeah, we took her to Disneyland because she loves looking at lights, like she loves bright lights. So we did take her around the evening time and she loved it, O-M-G-G. -G. Um, actually not Disneyland, we actually went to California Adventure because Disneyland was closed. Like it closed at seven because there's like a Halloween party going on, I guess. But um, she still loved the lights in California Adventure. Then we showed, then we went to the show, um, World of Color. I really wanted to take her to Fantasmic because I love Fantasmic. Oh, it's like the best show evs. But um, World of Color was just as good. So okay, I mean to be honest, I feel like Fantasmic was way better. But I'm not complaining because my daughter loved it. And then she fell asleep, and then we were like, okay, well, Cyrus and I have been to like Disneyland California Adventure like so many times, so we were like, well. We can go now because homegirl fell asleep, so that is that. <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot. That is that. I do love this foundation brush. Um, if you guys saw my box chart unboxing, then you guys would have seen that I said, I love using brushes like this to um, tap out my concealer or I'll, like, I'll apply my foundation with it, but I will blend it out with a beauty sponge. But I am loving this one for this concealer right now. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, guys, I am so for this brush right here. Do you guys see that bright under eye? Like, you're giving me life right now, honey. I'm going to take the brush that I applied my foundation with, and I'm just going to blend out these lines because we don't want no harsh line right there. No, we do not. And then I'm going to bake, as always. You all know the drill. As always, while this bakes, I'm going to be contouring. As soon as I get all this powder out of my 
this. Like I said, uh, hi. I'm going to be contouring, but hi, hello, Oliva Goody. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. But as always, I'm going to be chiseling out because she has a very, very strong contour with this. So I'm taking the, this is the shade Espresso, I believe. Yes, it is. I'm taking the shade Espresso. I'm going to be chiseling out as always. I'm actually going to be taking a flat top Kabuki brush. And, oh, I dipped into espresso. I'm going to be taking the shade Havana, which is like this lighter shade, to be um, blending that contour out. I feel like these are like the exact same, shame, <laughs> the exact same shades as the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. All right, and now we are blending that out. All right, so in the picture also, it looks like she has like a very, <sighs> I'm not sure. Sorry, it's my makeup wipes. Me. Um. I'm trying to describe the blush like it's really light but it complements your skin you know what i mean so i'm actually going to be using the wet and wild one that i had used in my last tutorial now i completely lied to you guys like i said that it was in the shade rose nope it's definitely in the shade pearlescent pink i said rose because hope you guys can see are we in focus yeah it says rose right there but you live and you learn you know and we're gonna blend all that out oh i almost forgot i like to cast my little shadow right here and to be honest, you guys, I really don't know why. I just do. But I took the shade Havana. Oop, let's not talk like that. Um, espresso would have been a little too dark under here. So I just took Havana and put it in there right there. I'm going to line my um, waterline with my Vincent Longo Jet Black Eyeliner as always. And I'm going to take black from the Lorac Pro Palette and smoke that baby out. I'm going to use a very light hand with this because I am using black. If I was using any other color, I'd just go crazy. But since I am using black and I already have my face makeup on, I don't want to like have to be wiping it off and reapplying it because then it will look caking in one area and not the other. You know what I mean? Obviously, she did have a inner corner highlight, so I'm just going to be taking Champagne Pop and using that as my inner corner as well as my brow bone. Alrighty, then I'm just going to coat my lower lashes with some L'Oreal Telescopic. Not forgetting. Yay. So, I'm actually going to be taking this, what is this? The So Susan um, Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. I got this in my, not August, July, I think? My July boxy charm? No, August, my August boxy charm unboxing. If you guys remember, all of my products were broken and this is one of them, but I do remember being in love with this highlight, so we're gonna try it to the highest point of our cheeks. And then I'm going to tap it out with my finger. Yes, like I... You, you guys see that, right? Look at that. It may have been broken, but I love it. Yes, I do. Cut the noise real quick. I need to contour my nose. It just got a little serious up in here. Okay. Okay. I got my life. But she is just really highlighted in this look, you guys. We're going to go over it. Yes, we are. I know you guys are like Nicolette, WTF, but it's about to happen. So I'm actually going to be taking this highlight right here. That's from the Carly Bybell palette. Tap my other Vizanti brush. I'm going to go right over that. <laughs> Let's talk to the highlight gods real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Because I know you guys see that. Alright, so let's finish this look right here. So she obviously has just like a very nude lip right there. Alright, and then I'm going to be taking Max Velvet Teddy, which is another gorgeous nude. Just looks like that. And we're going to be applying that all over the lips. Obvi. Okay, then right on top of that, I'm actually going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip Gloss. Wait, what is this called? Is it a liquid lipstick? Yes, it is. Liquid lipstick in the shade um, Pure Hollywood, which is just right there. Alrighty, my friends. That is that. I'm going to take my stippling brush one last time just to blend everything out. Alrighty, guys, so that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is a very nudie kind of look. Again, I will link her Instagram as well as Adam's down below for you guys, for you guys to check out. For you guys, for you guys. Mm-hmm. I don't know you guys i'm just so in love with it like i am in love with how it came out um i did the best i can to try to mimic how she looked but i don't know we'll see we'll see what you guys think <laughs>
Alrighty, now onto the big news that I have to share with you guys. I am so excited to present this to you guys because I have been excited ever since I was presented with the idea. But you guys, I have my own app. Oh my gosh, is that not crazy or what? Yes, you guys, um, I do have my own app. It is in the App Store. Right now, I understand it's not available yet for Android users. However, don't worry, I'm in the works with it. Just bear with me. But right now, it is in the App Store. If you just Google my name, Nicolette Malupe, it will pop up for you guys. All you guys have to do is download it. It is free. Yes, it is. That is the app. It's just a picture of me. I am going to change it though, but um, the app name is just Nicolette. And then when you open it, come on, come on. And that is my app, you guys. So we're going to bring it back here just a little bit. Oh, but you guys can't see. Hold on. We'll zoom you guys in. Alrighty guys, so when you first open the app, it does come up with all these sections. And if you guys notice, they are the playlists that I have created on my page like my vlogs, my tag videos, what else is on there? My first impressions, my monthly favorites, those are all in there. But the first tab just says Nicolette Malupe. Here we go. It just says Nicolette Malupe, and then if you tap it, it will open, and then those are all my videos in a row, if you guys noticed. But again, these are all the playlists, like those are my vlogs. Again, and then the videos will pop up, and then the description is right on the bottom. Now, when you guys, so let's just see, okay. We're just going to go to my most recent video. When you guys click it, the whole thing comes up. So obviously the title, then there's the video, and then everything that is written in my description box is obviously right there too. And then if you scroll all the way down, you can add a comment, and then um, my other videos are right there too. I don't even know what I was going to say right there, but um, my other videos are also right there. And then at the top, it's just like the regular like search navigation. So if you do have the search button there, there is just my banner. And then on this side, there are like three bars. If you click it, where are we? There we are. If you click it again, all my playlists will pop up, but then it also links to my Instagram as well as my Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on there, go ahead and follow me there. And yes, you guys, this is my new baby. I'm so excited. Like I said, I have been so excited about this ever since I was presented with the idea. First, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so weird that I could like possibly have my own app. And then as I was starting to put it together and like coming with the design and stuff, I was like, this is just so weird. So if you guys couldn't already tell, the app itself is all about my YouTube channel as well as my social media outlets. So again, if you just go to the app store and insert Nicolette Malupe, my app will pop up and all you have to do is download it. I would really like to hear your guys' thoughts on it. So either tweet me, put a comment on Instagram, Snapchat me, comment on this video, anything. Tell me what you guys think about it. But that is all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.